All right, guys, I'm going to start doing a uh, little bit of airbrushing today. <clears throat> Just a little bored. It snowed again. Kind of stuck inside here. Um, I get, I find it just cheaper and easier if I just get you know a three dollar can of Krylon from Walmart and I just take um, an awl or whatever you want to use and I, and I poke a hole in the top and just bleed off the pressure off these until uh, you know it's all gone and then I punch another hole just so it'll um, be able to uh, pour out a little easier kind of like a straw if you don't if you hold your finger over the end it's not going to pour out well and I've got tons and tons of colors and this I know this is a year old and uh, you can hear it's still uh, still good no problem so uh, with that said I'm gonna go ahead and um, fill up my brush this is a Pache airbrush I'm running uh, 40 uh, 35 pounds some people run 40 pounds I'm running 35 pounds of pressure on this brush and I can just fill the cup I keep another uh, another little bottle here lacquer thinner when I need to clean clean out my cup and I've got a few extra cups I wish I had several airbrushes because you go through you know the all the color you have to uh, um, change out while you're doing a project it'd be a little handier but I can't afford one this is just a hundred dollar brush alright what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start working on the the fan housing here and um, I um, I cut me out a little template. I needed a circle about this big, okay? And I also saved the center because I'll be using that possibly when I do some shading. So, uh, but I'm going to practice on the back side here just to get the technique down. I've never done this before, the, t the particular uh, project that I'm going to be doing, so I want to practice on the back. It's never seen, you know, so it gives me a good canvas to practice on. Just laying down a little bit of uh, chrome colored paint. Just want to have the uh, kind of trying to create an illusion here. You don't want to go crazy with this. Just get it. It, it, it dries pretty quick. It really does. It, it, it'll dry really, really quick. So don't go nuts with your uh, volume. All right, guys, what what I'm trying to do now? I want to give it just a. a uh, I want to give the object just a little bit of um, a purple hue, I guess you say, but I don't want to uh, take away from the uh, metallic that I put in there, so I'm going to try to go really light with it. Okay, we didn't take away from the metallic. Now I need to go in with a, a little bit. I want to go in with a little bit of red. back and try to soften these edges with the uh, with the purple again. pretty close. If you haven't figured out what I'm trying to do yet, I'm trying to uh, kind of simulate one of those, uh, what they call them, the, the electric balls, you know, where they uh, you touch it and the, the arcs fly out to your fingers. That's the core. That's what I'm trying to do is get that core right there. So um, I'm ready now to uh, go ahead and unmask this. And then I'm going to start trying to get the sparks to fly off. All right, guys. The, uh, I was a little jumpy. My air compressor kicked on, and it made me jump just a little bit. I wasn't expecting it, and I got a little too much flow out of my nozzle right here. But I can—you'll see how I fix that later. No problem. I'm gonna keep on carrying on with the uh, the arc here. I guess you say.
right guys uh, you can see I've got uh, I've started in with a shadow and just taking the purple that I used right here and I'm just going around the edges but leaving the white what I got to do now I've got a my uh, my little jar leaked here on me and I've got to fix another spot but that's no big deal I'll uh, have to address you know as to why my my jar is leaking but it's coming out right there but anyway um, I have to get that fixed and I was going to show you how I fixed this right here let me just daub this real quick so that it doesn't paint dries pretty quick I'm going to let that dry and then I'll have to fix it but um, we're going to go ahead I'm going to try to get get this fixed right here I'm just going to have to pull my shadowing in pretty tight on each side I'll just keep adding some layers on that still not going to have the right texture but I can fix it and make it look halfway decent um, I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing here get this fixed and finish out the shadowing on these and then like I said we'll come back in with a tight white line right up the middle and uh, we'll be finished except for um, you know doing the uh, clear coat over it Guys, I'm making a little bit of progress on the front side of it. Uh, just working along with the uh, shading here. Get that really cool looking purple glow. Guys, I've uh, turned the heater off. I've got a little bit, a uh, little bit of progress made here. Got my uh, my shading in there. Now I need to go back in and do my really fine white line on that, and then I'm gonna try to just do a little bit of shading here with the purple because it's gonna bring sharp lines in here, and I don't want that. Um, so let's get the let's get our color changed out, and we'll go back in with the white.
Well guys, there's the finished product. It needs uh, clear coated, but I'm going to leave it alone right there.